Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today we're going to discuss some news that is coming out of the ongoing theater studio war that's happening. Um, and that's that Amazon uh, is considering buying out AMC theaters, the entire chain. Um, now, that's extremely significant because I believe um, if AMC is not the top, they are very close to being the top theater chain in the world, which means in terms of you know numbers of theaters that they own and that they operate. Um, so that is a very hefty number. Now, this is also, a, uh, I guess, kind of maybe a step backward, maybe it's kind of cyclical, is um, you have a, a company who owns a streaming service, which is the Amazon Prime Video Streaming Service, um, and they then have now tried to buy out, or are now thinking about buying out movie theaters, which are really the things that streaming services are, you know, a lot of people consider streaming services being the, the killer of theaters. Um, because of, you know, direct -to video releases and stuff like that, and big movies that are released on, you know, things like Netflix and things like that. So it makes sense, um, you know, from that type of a perspective. But th there's a lot of baggage with this type of a decision uh, in terms of, you know, what it's going to mean for the entertainment industry going forward. Because here's the thing, is that Hollywood studios hate competition. This is why Disney decided to absorb as many small studios as they could, like Pixar and Marvel and Lucasfilm, uh, because they knew they could get rid of these other somewhat competitive entities and use what's be what they're doing that's good against their opponents. Um, and then, of course, we obviously have the Fox merger, which is the big one. Um, so it was really kind of like Disney's the juggernaut, like nobody's going to be able to top Disney. But hang on a second, what is Amazon doing? Because here's the other thing, is that studios have always been in a constant war with the theater chains. Because the theater chains take some of the revenue from those ticket sales for those films. So as far as movie, the uh, movie studios are concerned, um, they view it as basically it's kind of a it's a necessary evil it's something that they have to deal with um but now you have a company coming in who could potentially absorb amc who also produces content which is something that we haven't seen um now some movie studios own like private cinemas and stuff like that or like small little you know cinemas in various areas um but they don't own chains they don't own massive chains of theaters and they've never been one studio really has never been able to go out and just purchase it all uh maybe disney could before the fox merger but definitely not at this point uh so you have an entity like Amazon, which is an insanely uh, rich company, which just had its stock value skyrocket uh, because of, you know, all the people, you know, at home because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, and at one point, I believe that uh, Amazon was more. No, sorry. I was thinking of Netflix. I was going to say Netflix at one point, actually, their stock was uh, more than Disney. But Amazon stock, I do know, went up considerably. Um, after the stay at home order took place. So you have that. So now you use that extra money that you have from your stock value and you go out and you, you get something big. You get an acquisition because you have a bunch of house money to play with. So you, you invested in something solid. Um, and if they were to go out and get AMC, they could strong arm their way into the film industry. So here, here's the thing is that Netflix chose, to just use their platform, use their streaming platform, and use that as their leverage to get into Hollywood. And they did manage to do it, but they essentially burned the bridge behind them where they're not. nobody else can get in there uh, through that avenue anymore. And Netflix has pretty much cemented itself in now that it's a member of the, uh, you know, on the board of the MPAA. Um, and that's the Motion Picture Association of America. Um, so... You know, they're already there, but the thing is, it's kind of scorched earth, because you can't really follow the same path without bumping Netflix off of the MPAA. But Amazon has figured out a side door, because here's the idea. Once they own the theater chains, they can distribute their own, uh, they will have to pay, you know, for, for obviously the upkeep and stuff of the theaters, but uh, they will then... Uh, be allowed to put their own content in these theaters without having to split ticket prices. So when somebody buys a ticket um, to that cinema then and goes and sees a movie that was put in there by Amazon themselves that they made with their money, um, 
the theater, all of the profits are eventually, are basically going to the Amazon company. It's going to one entity, even though, you know, basically it's kind of going to a, a subset of that entity that would be in charge of these theaters. Um, but it's all going to one company as opposed to some of it being split between AMC and some of it being split between Universal. But they have the leg up because now other film studios will have to pay them to put movies in their theaters. And Amazon can adjust the prices because they don't care. It's almost a vestigial thing to them in terms of having these theaters. It's kind of like a nice little thing, and it's a good way to muscle your way in. So it makes perfect sense. Um, now, the scary thing about it is, is that once you have an entity in the theater system, um, a big enough entity like that that it has its, you know, Amazon has it, many fingers and many pies, um, you know, there there is so much going on with that company that, you know, you're curious what they're going to actually do to the cinema experience. Are they going to upgrade any of the cinemas? Are they just going to keep it as is? Are they going to put a minimal amount of effort into it and just let them get run down and shitty? Um, you know, there's a lot of questions going into that about how they treat that acquisition that they get in terms of, you know, in terms of actual you know, upkeep and running the business, not necessarily in terms of using using it as a bargaining piece or using it as leverage. Um, but basically, Amazon would then have control over all major Hollywood studios that did theatrical releases. Um, again, because AMC is such a big part of the theater chains. You know, the, again, I believe they are the biggest. They're they're trailed by uh, Regal uh, and uh, Showtime Cinemas. <clears throat> again. It just it's it's a brilliant business move if they actually do pull the trigger on it and they have the finances to do it. Um, and if they do, they would put a lot of Hollywood studios in a very serious bind, Disney included, because again, Disney is a company, and I've said this before on various streams. You know, Disney and a lot of these other big uh, Hollywood studios, they're companies that are designed to make films that are built for theaters. You know, and there there are films that are built for a movie theater, and there are films that are built for a television. Uh, you know, you can sit down and you can watch uh, a movie like Casablanca on the big screen, or you can watch it on your television. It really doesn't make too, too much of a difference other than maybe the nostalgia factor. Um, but when you're watching a movie like uh, The Avengers on a big screen versus watching it on a small screen, there is a significant difference to that experience. Um, in addition to, you know, the group experience and everything like that. But the thing is, is when you build a film, if you're building a film for cinema, that film can afford to have a $250 million budget if you're expecting to make, you know, $1.5 billion off of it. It can do that. However, if you have a film that uh, is going to a streaming service with a similar budget, uh, chances are you are not going to make that back in new subscriptions. Chances are that's just going to allow you to keep the subscribers that you have. So th there are advantages to it, though. You know, the idea of, you know, you have that constant income every month as long as people keep using the service. Um, so, so, again, you have that, that aspect of streaming versus, you know, something going into the cinema. But the thing is, is Amazon will immediately have feet in both, and they will have a leg up on all of the competition. Um, unless it comes to something where, you know, the studios stop releasing in Amazon-owned theaters, and then you have a whole other, you know, clusterfuck going on, in addition to what's already been happening uh, with the feud between Universal and AMC, and, and Regal as well now. Um, so, it's... And on top of that, theaters are not in a good position. It, it, here's the thing. If Amazon comes to AMC with a, with a decent enough offer, uh, AMC will probably have no other choice but to take it at this point because they are in ruts right now. There's still a very limited plan on how to reopen a large amount of theaters. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of whatever the future is going to hold for them is up in the air. If they get bought up by Amazon, that is financial security for that company because they they Amazon is is so ridiculous. They could fund all of those theaters ten times over if they wanted to. So the money is there for them to use. It's just you know where it needs to be allocated to basically. Um, but they would never really have to worry about the idea of the the business essentially going bankrupt uh, because they could always kind of get an injection of cash from the parent company if they really really had to. And I, I would assume unless the parent company wanted them to go under, they wouldn't you know would not do it again, or if the cash was not already allocated. 
Um, but that's from a business aspect of this. But, you know, I want to know what you think. Do you like the idea that Amazon is buying up and uh, might uh, buy up AMC theaters and, you know, possibly be a, a major player in the actual theater industry as opposed to just being a streaming service with Amazon Prime? Um, or do you think that, you know, this is uh, this is a bad move, this is a bad move for theaters, bad move for Amazon, theaters are dying, don't invest in it, um, you know, anything like that? Or, you know, just put any of your general thoughts in the comments below, as you usually do. Um, make sure to uh, hit the bell for notifications, hit the like button, subscribe, and remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you...